Welcome back. We are uh, playing Napoleonic Total War 3, which is a very good mod for uh, Total War Napoleon. And um, we've been playing for oh, well, 14 turns now. And uh, I'm calling this game the Austrian Splick because right now we've been putting the hammer down on the French. Uh, perhaps they're getting uh, clever, more clever now because they've snuck an army almost behind behind my lines. This army right here by uh, General Cervoni, and granted they've uh, taken a lot of damage to their cavalry and some of their uh, light infantry units, but uh, uh, they've, uh, they are threatening Vienna. We only have four guys there. Oh, well, if he did attack Vienna, then I would uh, burp out a bunch of nearly worthless uh, city fighters, I won't call them soldiers, but um, it's possible to go down there. See, he's kind of being pushed by this army over here, which will completely obliterate him if he stops. So I'm chasing him down. And I had so much fun attacking him with one guy, this guy here. I attacked him with that one guy, and uh, but I think I'm going to do it again with a different guy. Who do we have here? Line infantry. He's a twenty. Line infantry. The twenty-five. The veterans. Okay. What are these guys? Heavy cavalry. Heavy cavalry. I'm not going to do cavalry because they're too fragile um, but yeah 245 a big unit of veterans uh, oh wait they can't I guess they they just move there well these guys can they're line infantry they can form square I'm pretty sure uh, that's the important bit so yeah that's so uh, he may get the bridge advantage here but I'm curious to see what happens. Well, one guy against all of your dudes again. He has no guns, but and he has shot up cavalry. So let's see if he sends his shot up cavalry against me. I would like to completely destroy them. Do 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 <sighs> Right. There are some some weird formations. Well, they can form some they can form a solid square. Are they called it a pike square? Oh. I have some uh, bird formations. I can build on top of them, but I don't think I want to make it so that their cavalry can't hit me. Hello. Uh, they're probably going to make me attack them. Oh well. Come get a taste. This one unit will take on the entire French army. Come on, you know you want some. You want you want some of this? Line infantry, they're not even grenades or grenadiers, they're just a bunch of dudes sitting on a hill.
Come on, you know you want to. I'm weak, I'm worthless. Um, send your cavalry against me. There's no way I'll form square in time. Or did Cervoni learn from last time? Hmm. I don't see any flags moving. Kind of suggests to me that they're not coming. Which is a smart move on their part, but after last time, can't, uh, can't credit them with a lot of smarts. There's another face I, face, facing there that doesn't help me at all, but it's kind of neat looking. Let's see. I presume their whole army is bunched up over in here. They might be reluctant to uh, use cavalry this time, considering how shot the hell they are. And this may fail completely, but what are you, what are you doing? Why do you take so long to get down from that hill? Meh. Uh-oh. I spoke too soon. About how smart they were. Get up that hill. You're pretty dead slow, aren't you? Do it! Oh, hello. Appreciate you coming to the party. Did Cervoni send you out here, or is this just a bit of a... Your own Elon. Spiky, spiky bayonets into your horses. You guys really had me thinking there for a second that you weren't going to come. That they've only learned. But So yeah, how badly damaged it? 19, it probably won't be back. These guys are at 23. Once they get down to half, they probably won't be back either. Oh, there they go. 18. 16. Pretty good. All right. Does anybody else want to taste? You didn't need them. I mean, really, oh, what, what are they? They're just dragoons and <laughs> guard cavalry. <laughs> Why would you need them? Very tired. 
You go move into the trees. Worked so well last time, right? Speed up the game a little bit. Uh oh. That guy rallied. How about that? Alright. Shoot them. Oh, That's so sad. Those guys won't be back. Okay. Do 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 do. Speed things up again. Keep my eye on that guy. Make sure he doesn't rally. Feels good to finish up the job that the last guy was doing by completely destroying their cavalry and making it so it's not even doesn't even show up in their roles anymore. You know what I think you should do, Savoni? I think you should send your general staff over here. Oh, no, no, gotta bring out the rest of that cavalry. All right. That is a good thing. Well, they haven't routed yet. Boy, I'm not in the woods, so I won't get all the advantages, but I don't think my boys are going to go anywhere. Come on now. <sighs> My general died. Her leader. And in dying, it gave him a little boost of morale for some reason. I guess he sucked. Oh! And there they go. Just the one unit left. this one horse. What are you doing? I like this horse. I'm going to keep this horse. Even though there's nobody on it. I'm going to keep this horse. I appreciate you not poking the horse. Alright. Well, let's see. How many guys have we lost? We've lost 51. Then we destroyed their cavalry again. <sighs> kind of feeling it's time to leave again. They did what they came to do. Finish off the French cavalry. What are you guys worried about? Very tired. They have sustained casualties. Fair enough. And they don't have great morale. So there's a couple things working against them. So I will uh, set you up here and uh, speed the game up they came after they came after us last time with one unit four units of cavalry destroyed or beyond recognition shall we say
Okay. Once again, it's a very strong unit, or actually 20 morale. They're nothing special, but they can form square, and that's all you have to do when, not, when, they're, when they're first and on the attack is to send their cavalry after you. So, here we go. Do, 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 do. It's a good experience for him. His guerrilla tactics. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, and that is that. Let's see how many casualties I inflicted. I think the casual, casually, casualties I inflicted, uh, they lost 79, and I killed 65 of them. That means they lost some units. I think that's what that means. All right, and there, straight back to the city. Yeah, you'll probably be all healed up by the time next turn starts. Oh, come on. How did this unit survive with eight guys left in it? Eight guys. He's down 40. 20. And these guys are similar. Whatever. I had, if this guy could move, this guy would be in a world of hurt. I just have too much militia around here. That's a fact of the matter. Alright. Building the horse guys. What does that do? Uh, recruitment costs, well, we do it, reduction in recruitment costs for cavalry units. Well, great. All right. Well, uh, uh, the Swiss might be willing to trade, although they are trading with the French. Jerks. Do I want to trade with them too? Why not? I might have to deal with them again someday. Yep, yeah, they took it. So it'll be interesting to see if the French pressure them to stop trading with me. Okay. Uh, ne next turn. Oh, there he goes. I forgot to move my, my dude. And that's okay. He has standing orders to move. Horse breeding. Mecklenburg. What happened to Mecklenburg? Is that the Prussians? Probably the Prussians. Some fine skirmishers in Tyrol. And, ooh, factory. And a trading port. And making, so now we have a bunch more money. Nice. That's a good thing. And let's see. 
What else we got going on here? Um, I'm not building anything in Prague. Yep, that guy. That guy did. He fully, or almost fully healed. Four guys there. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. I noticed he didn't lay siege to Vienna. So instead, he has put himself cleverly between three cities. Prague, Olmolz, Vienna. You could probably reach this one too. Yeah, well, congratulations. I'm afraid this army over here is going to catch up to you. Eventually. And maybe I'll hit you with that one guy again, because that seems to be your bane. Attacking you with one guy. And the Russians are guarding that place. Alright. I have a bunch of money to spend, but I feel like moving my guys. Where are the French? Don't see any up there. Don't see any surprises over there. Bunch of guys, or a handful of guys. Not even a bunch. And those guys are still shot up, but looking they won't be uh, won't be out of action long. I'm gonna move them right up to the front. Keeping them on this side of the border. And those guys are more shot up. I don't like that none of them are a hundred percent, but we're doing okay. In the south. Uh, Northern Italy may eventually move on Vienna. Or not Venice, not Vienna. But those two quality units I just built. I'll move them over there. And this general, we'll move him over there. Don't, you thought I forgot you, didn't you? So we're going to build up Venice on the cheap. And. Alright. Can uh, build anybody in all molts? How about oh, grenadiers? And just some straight up line infantry. It's boring, but two units there. I'm building guys in Prague, actually. Okay. Guys are being built in Vienna. What about Budapest? You can build some fine militia. Those guys are really cool, so I'm gonna build try to build those. Uh no. Uh, no. Let's see. Next turn, I'm going to have a handful of new guys. I want to build anybody in Venice? I do want to build some uh, more buildings. Classic university. Or a classical university. All right, that'll do it. That's sufficient. I do, I really feel the need to attack this guy again. Because he managed to somehow save his little bit of cavalry. And Cervoni just cannot abide waiting. So I'm going to have to attack him with, with somebody. Somebody go out there and kill that guy. How about this guy? Yeah, baby.
19 and 23. Okay. I can't catch up to him with my army just yet, so I'm going to snake him. Going to count on him staying true to himself and attacking me with his pathetic cavalry. I just have to remember to form square. <laughs> All right. Weird. Got a building I could sit in, but don't really don't think they would come attack me if I'm sitting in a building. So I'll just go hang out in the trees again. I'm coming to get you. You better look out, man. Oh, don't run away, Cervoni. Don't run away. I'll be kind. I'll just sit here and let you guys attack me. How about that? And... Uh, I'm sorry there's so much noise in the background. It seems that uh, people are uh, celebrating something. But that's okay. If you guys don't mind, I don't mind. Uh, oh. Ooh. I'm gonna stop. I'm in the middle of the woods. I'm so vulnerable here in the middle of the woods. Form square. I think these are cavalry units. Oh. <laughs> See, when you only have 19 guys, you route when you lose like two, three. <laughs> so, now, if those guys come back, I'll be disappointed. Those guys had eight. Now they're down to five, and they routed. Yeah, here come these guys. Yep. Just cannot leave well enough alone, so I have to get in on the action. Oh, I'll sit. I'll wait for you. I think cavalry have a distinct weakness when fighting in the woods, but then to fight a unit in square in the woods is kind of unreasonably hard. Although it's hard to see too. Oh, they didn't last, but they lost five guys and routed. Well, shoot them. Oh, they're down to 18. 17. Oh, and, and, the, and the horse guards, now that we're all softened up. <laughs> Here we have lost a guy. We've lost a guy. You've hit us. This is your fourth cavalry unit. Fourth destroyed cavalry unit. And you've, we've lost a guy. It's like we don't even know you're attacking. We don't even know you're attacking us. That's how bad this is. Did that guy just, like, poke him with a stick? Uh, get him. Uh, oh, they killed my guy. How about if we don't take him on one at a time? Poke that guy. Ah, 
Oh, I like it. When they get knocked off the horse, the guy runs up and jabs them with a the bayonet. That's just so beautiful. Down to 15. What are you doing? There's the enemy. There you go, poke him. Poke him. What are you doing? Shoot your gun. Shoot. Are you just waiting your turn to poke him? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Another guy comes up. But, oh! They're down to 13. 13 guys against my. How many? 200 and. I don't know why we can't, like, shoot at them. I guess I need to, to move in order to do that. And when you're in square, moving is a hard thing. Get that guy. Oh. Now turn your back to this guy so they can chop you down. That's very clever. Yeah, this unit alone has killed nine of my guys. <laughs> and they're down to eleven. And they're not very happy about it. And I appreciate that none of your infantry have moved to support you guys. That they're very much playing the defensive game, doing their own thing. Yes, she is. Aww. Now can we shoot him? That's like the slowest route imaginable. All right. Now, if they're careful, we aren't destroyed, aren't completely removed. Then I will be, oh, well, frustrated. Go ahead and shoot, guys. There you go. Might kill a couple of them before they. Not that I don't think it would need to necessarily, but considering how large that large that unit was. When when I started killing them all those turns ago to reduce to be reduced to nine is a a thing that's the general is over there he's probably got the rest of those guys with him over over in here someplace but this guy over here is kind of a I don't quite know what to make of that is he alone? I'm tempted. Go over there and see. We're still fresh. Oh, that's weird. Last couple of units have been doing this. I've been exhausted by the end of the cavalry fights, but I guess really there really wasn't that much to fight this time, was there? A couple of very small units being destroyed. I 
think I'm out of range. It's interesting though. See if he wants to fight me while I'm in the trees and he's in the open. See if that matters. I think I'm pretty close to being in range. Yep, all my guys are shooting. I'm in the trees. You're not. infantry only like four of their guys are shooting while my entire unit is shooting that, that does not seem to uh, it, it seems that somebody hasn't got the memo you know we're being shot at over here right That's okay, we'll make him run out of ammunition. It's always the greatest strategy ever, is to have the opposition shoot as much of their ammunition as they can until they run out. Yeah, that's what you want. Always want to try to get the opposition to run out of ammunition. <laughs> oh, now we're not hitting anything. Come on, guys. We're all gonna shoot, then we need to be hitting something. Maybe the angle's not right. I mean, we were hitting, we are hitting them. We're just not, not schooling them. We're not shooting into their flank, to be fair. Well, I guess I will speed up the game. Just keep an eye on the map and make sure nobody else comes up. Yeah, because I think all my guys are sh shooting, except maybe some guys out here on the farthest edge. And it's a slow burn. We've lost two guys, I think, since we started shooting. And they have lost 13. That's, that's about as slow as it gets. They have a whole army around here, but they're content to let me shoot their guys. So that's fine with me. I'm just gonna sit here and shoot their guys. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. I'm not killing very many of them for all the shooting we're doing. Maybe I do. I, mean, I think I'm going to move. I think I'm going to move. Try and stay in the cover. Get a good twist on them. All right, there we go. Now everybody's shooting, but still, only a couple there are. Wait, there's there's more than one unit there. Okay. So let me get this straight. You have two units of infantry standing nearly the same spot. 
letting me shoot them with all my guys so that I can damage both units. I see. There's a strategy to it. Oh, they're, they're, the guys are getting crushed. How bad am I hurt? 230. If I get down to 180, then I'll stop shooting you. You may not be here by then. You're at 124 and what, 132 out of 150. Then the second unit is seems to be able to avoid damage somehow. But I appreciate you just letting me shoot you, though. It does mean a lot to me and that you don't reposition yourselves, that you can actually fire back with all your guys, that you're content to sit there let me sit in the woods shooting your guys probably wondering why we aren't being attacked by cavalry <laughs> yeah those guys are almost half strength they're gonna be running soon I can lose another 47 guys before I'm going to leave. I don't think you can, you're going to do that well. Yeah. Almost makes me think that the way to beat this guy is to just attack him with one unit a bunch of times. But... <laughs> That's really tiring compared to bringing a whole army. And bringing a whole army is going to be reality very soon. So there's not a lot of use in uh, rushing things. These little guerrilla fights sure are fun, though. Well, I've got to say. It's like, sir, we're being attacked. We've lost a hundred guys. No, uh, it's, it's, it's not the real effort. We need to stand here and defend. <laughs> Sir, we're below 50% strength. Now the small unit next to us is losing guys. Oh, what? Oh, my guys did. <sighs> my guys ran out of ammo. Well, you did your job, but it's time to go. All right, where, where are you going? Go that way. He actually made us run out of ammunition. I'll go ahead and run. You're not tired. Very tired. I don't care. Go ahead and run. It's better than... Uh, that unit's still routed. 66 guys. Just shocking. Just never thought that one unit could be a threat. They seem content to defend that spot where all their companions died. <laughs> yes, I left you in control of the wheat field, but your buddies routed. You get to stare at their bodies for until I Get out of the screen. I appreciate you not following me. I'm shocked that I fired all my shots. I fired all my... 
<laughs> uh, I probably could have just busted him up as melee. I didn't even think about that. I'm not going to do it, though. That's okay. I don't mind this unit being able to get out of this fight and <laughs> be able to get out of this fight and be so resupplied we we play got all the replacements uh, on the next turn oh why am I going slow go ahead and leave I like to get my guys to the edge before I make them run. Makes me feel better. Oh, now you're coming. I see. Oh, that's that 66 guys. Oh. Charge those father muckers. I'm gonna sit there and shoot at you. You got bayonets. Destroy that unit. Destroy them. Jerks. I lost 43 guys. Very tired. I'm going to save that unit for later. They did their job. They decimated the cavalry and did a number on some infantry to boot. So let's see what we got. No kind of damage we inflicted. <coughs> see, uh, they lost 197. We lost 43. Yep. That's okay. And they still have cavalry units. Five guys, nine guys. It's like unless they are literally destroyed, they're not going to they're not gonna <laughs> Okay. They are smaller than the general's aid aid the comp. That's okay. They are getting beat up. And I'm not losing much in the process. This army is right there. Oh, taking, taking Vienna was, is a pipe dream. This guy, I moved this guy, right? Yeah. All right, I think I'm done. All right, I don't want to be building Navy parts. I don't want to be yeah, researching Navy. As cool as the Austrian Navy is, they only have two ships. So these are 16 turns each. I'm not going to do that. I guess it's time to build schools. Because it adds to my technology research rate. Fine, fine. And okay. Not doing a lot of diplomatic work this game. But.
Okay. Alrighty then. Let's see what happens. Where are you going? Oh, you just barely failed to lay siege to Prague. Oh, oh, that's too bad. Is it because you had to walk, walk around that one guy who was in your way and you didn't want to fight him? Oh, that's okay. I don't mind chasing you around the battlefield. And all those guys built in Austria. They're small units, but they're ridiculously high morale. So, I will go ahead and fill up Vienna with a couple more guys. in case and uh, this army here getting striking distance of that army possibly laying siege in Prague or going to he hasn't yet once again he has failed to lay siege to the city he's outside of I can't quite reach Prague with that guy. Well, back to Vienna with you. Uh, actually, what kind of units does this have? It has dragoons and light cavalry. Only one cannon, a whole ton of line infantry. How about some skirmishers? Add those to the mix. And that fills out the army. I could build guns in Vienna. How about that? I definitely have enough money to build some guns. How about some 12 pounders? What? Oh, there we go. 12 pounders. Wait, what are these? Six pounders. They're six pounders. Hmm. I like the twelve pounders. I've always liked the twelve pounders. I'm going to build five of them. Alright. That guy's getting closer. Build. I'll build that other, other school. I have a sinking feeling that the Turks are about to attack. They just have too many, too many guys down here that don't have a job. Well, if this army is on this side of the map, but they do, then I guess he'll stay over there. But, as for the invasion of France, and the Russians are still there, obviously. All right. Do I risk my spy? I'm going to try to infiltrate successfully. All right. No marshal. A bunch of guys with no experience. No Napoleon. How very odd. I gotta assume Napoleon's in Paris, and 
He can stay there for as long as he wants. Who's this guy? Who is that guy? Oh, that looks like Napoleon. It is. Hey, hi, Napoleon. Why do you have only half an army? Is that because you've given your guard off to all your in underlings? Who aren't even marshals? Boy, do I feel like going down there and popping the snot out of you. Yeah, I know that army is just a bit shot up. Everybody was taking hits, but it is twice your size. And I just don't think you're going to rout. I think you might just be on my, the edge of my reach and you might just escape me. But I'm going to try. Ah, I appreciate you staying to fight, Napoleon. Oh. Look at the size of that gun. 210. That's one of those 10 cannon ensembles. <laughs> he also has the 273 cavalry in one unit. And the, uh, the old guard. No, wait, no, that's a... No, that's the old guard. No, no, wait, that's the old guard, the grenadiers. Grenadiers of the old guard. No, I guess they're all old guard. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have six units that aren't guns. Uh, frankly, Napoleon, you have no business staying for this fight. You're just doing this for the glory of it all, to say that you went down in a hail of, of shot. It's, it's what, it's what I call an ugly baby. It is something you just don't want to look at. And you got this many guys going up against so few. And those so few are so conceited as to think they belong in the fight. All right, I have guns. Can they reach anything or are we? It's very flat. Oh yeah, I was forgetting that we had three pounders. I guess they count as cannons. Oh, the cavalry. All oh, those infantry. like on this pathetic excuse for a hill. It'll be interesting going up against those particular units. It's going to be interesting to see how they last. Because that cavalry unit in particular I mean, the big gun unit, the 10 gun unit they have, is uh, uh, it's going to suck, but uh, guns are not partic that, or, well, any gun is not particularly fast. 
and I have enough cavalry to snake all of it. As I like to say, gonna snake it. Uh, these guys are a little bit shot up, but not nearly enough to be troubled by so small a force. I just don't... I do not see it being a big problem. I just don't have enough. Don't have enough to hang with the big boys. silent. Oh, did I forget to unnumber them? I did. <laughs> um, it was that big, uh, that big gun unit. With these guys standing in the middle of it for some reason. I wonder if they're going to get shot by their own guns. There's a big old hunkin' cavalry unit. guns can reach them. How about that? Well, frankly, we should shoot this unit. I'll let these guys shoot that unit. I appreciate you letting me shoot your guys. You may not, you may not think it's sporting of me to just sit back there and shoot with a dramatically larger army than yours. You see, if I did, if I shot into the backs of my troops, I'd be killing my own guys. I notice you're not doing that. It's not entirely fair, is it? thing. Yeah, my guns are shooting into the earth. Because they have no height advantage. Um, they have they have a balloon, so that they can see my troops wherever they are. But that's okay. not targeting my cavalry. I have 
it doesn't it is not beyond reason to just shoot guns in their general direction. little bump out there is saving them right now. But except for the howitzer, which can reach them to some extent at least. I've done a little bit of superficial damage to some of my guns, but... I start moving my infantry forward. Don't really have a reason not to. Oops, those aren't infantry. There you go. I guess the only reason not to is that uh, they have cannons, but... As I've already established that they cannot stand with uh, such a force, and that they're relying on one gun to hold down at their, their, their entire left flank, which is ridiculous. Actually doing damage to them with my cannons. That's nice. I feel good about that. I'm not sure I'm hitting that unit in the trees. Hiding in the trees. Okay, they're getting shot. <sighs> the grenadiers of the guard are getting shot by cannons. I don't know how you can justify that, Napoleon. The cavalry unit over there. The MIC pounders at you. How about that? thinking about attacking my guys, are you? Which of these guys can form square? Thank you.
What? They actually blew, blew one of the guns off my ridge? <sighs> That's ridiculous. I'm not sure I believe that. Alright, just for that, I'm going to send this group of hussars against, hussars against your big old giant, massive, mass of uh, dudes, or guns. You're probably going to respond to it, but. Napoleon. Napoleon standing be next to his guns and they failed to intercept me. Split. Oh! See the look on Napoleon's face when I cut him down? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he left. Coward. My, boy, my boys are about to rout, I think. There's a unit of... Oops. See, I get all excited and then I miss something. They probably killed a bunch of my guys, but if we didn't route, they needed us to route. And there's that big unit that I've been eyeing, or trying to eye, this whole time. Well, that unit's destroyed. Why are you guys just... I'm going to stand here and sh get shot at. You know, I think that's a great idea. Why don't we just stand here and get shot at? You, loser, come over here and crush that. Oh, what? It's an infantry unit now, huh? There's a gun over there, too. both route. Good. Tear those guys up. I knocked a hundred, um, 80 guys off that 10 gun monstrosity and that guy rallied Cannon should be shooting into this unit's flank, shouldn't they? All right, you can stop chasing after those guys now. 
Well, you guys have let me kill almost 40 of your guys without inflicting a casualty. I appreciate that. I got these cannons right here and their guys are standing in front of the cannons so I, I'm going to assume the cannons aren't shooting alright these guys are fresh hit those cannons again Napoleon again. What do you got to do, Napoleon? And there goes that gun, finally. I might be biting off more than I can chew against that unit. Half their unit got stuck behind the infantry. We don't know how to get around the infantry. Oh no! What do we do? We just get stuck behind this infantry. Oh no! Guys, get out of the way! Napoleon is charging my infantry. That. There's a word for that. And there he goes. Ah, we dropped him. We dropped Napoleon. Because he's the main main general of that army. We don't get to kill him. But he's not there anymore for the rest of this fight. <laughs> Alright guys, I think you need to form square. Or you need to fail to form square because this ridiculously giant infantry unit is all they have left. you guys feel? We feel fresh. These guys are exhausted. You're going to make that unit route. For whatever reason, these guys aren't forming square. Drop those guys down. Yeah, I lost an infantry unit, but routed them. And they are done. Forty six out of yep, they are toast. will be back. Uh, considering that unit costs like 3,000 bucks to make, I feel 
pretty good about that. go over there and cut those guys down. Give them the gold steel. No, these guys over here. You guys set up that way. I got an idea, guys. Let's set up so that one line is shooting from behind, so that they'll be sure to shoot as many of their own as their comrades as possible. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Boy, we have smart generals. They won't be back. Not this fight. Well, there's one unit left. Where are you going? Just not satisfied shooting the enemy. You need to get behind my unit. Remember the gun so we stop shooting ourselves. Infantry with their beautiful bearskin hats. You guys are beautiful, just want you to know that. Unfortunately, you're being shot at by eight guys, or no more than that. If you're not routed by the time this cavalry unit gets over there, you know who's going to get you. He's too routed. Austrian split continues. This time he finally met up against Napoleon. Let's see. He took 600 casualties and inflicted 1,000. You have three units left. I won't be able to reach him this turn. Additionally, my army is depleted. So, while it was a victory, it was... Uh, well, it was worth it. Getting those two big units off the board. And, let's see. Yeah. He may take Prague. But doesn't do him that much good. All 
All right. I've fooled around long enough. Uh-huh. I wonder if it's even possible to make peace with Spain. I'm guessing not. It's going to get away because it's on the extreme edge of my range, but that's okay. All our minister is doing nowadays. Do we have any capable people down here? That guy's pretty good with the Navy. I assume this guy's good with Navy. He is. And he has a governess, which for some reason makes that happier people. Okay. I wonder if I forgot anything. I probably did. Oh, what? What do you mean, surrender? It's Prague. We don't surrender Prague. No, you and your torn-up units have to fight us. So get bent. See, he has a 5, a 9, a 10, and a 17 cavalry unit. That is smaller combined. I think that is smaller than, no, not quite smaller than my 1. But I do have a lot of low-quality infantry there. Hmm. Well, we're not supposed to win this one, right? Look at all this red space on this bar. That kind of means not going to win that one. What time is it? Kind of tired, actually. I think I'm going to color done but uh, this is what we'll do when we get back this nice little fight here between uh, the dreaded Cervani who will be made a marshal if he doesn't get killed in this fight or the next fight which he probably will um, anyways uh, this is Joe Moore Rising signing off